he had it clean and then there's still spots remaining and he told the people hey uh there's still spots and the dude was like i ain't coming back <laughs> So we're headed to Fremont, California today. This one is uh, a referral from one of my friends from uh, when I used to work at the apartments. <clears throat> she was a relocator for uh, like a real realtor, uh, one of those real estate companies, I guess. They do, uh, they sell homes and uh, place people, like they'll show people apartments too. And, um, so we just been cool since, and uh, she's still doing her thing, and, and I, I clean her carpet like, man, twice a year, um, so this one, she has a client, she sends, she sends clients still. Uh, she has a client that needs uh, carpet cleaning, I guess. He just bought, uh, he keeps saying it's an apartment, but it's a condo. Because he has people painting the, uh, the condo and stuff. And uh, typically, when you have an apartment, you're not going to set up your own, your own uh, people. Or, you know, your, your own painters and stuff. It, I mean, it's possible, but it's not typical where you're going to have, like, work being done and stuff like this. So he already has some work done, and now he has uh, uh, me coming out to clean his carpet. So we'll see what that's about. We'll see what it looks like. When he sent the picture, I was like, man, this thing, is that wool? <laughs> and he's like, no. And he said it's an apartment. And I'm like, well, they wouldn't put, they wouldn't put that in an apartment. And I'm thinking to myself, like, This is a condo, like, <laughs> but we'll see. When I get over there, you know, I told him the price difference. And he was like, man, that's expensive. Like, and I was like, well, if it's an apartment, it's only, two, you know, $200 for two rooms. Uh, if it's synthetic, you know what I'm saying? And if it's, if it's wool, because wool's more expensive, there's more uh, risk to wool. I said it's $300 if it's wool. You know, wall-to-wall -wall wool carpet is expensive, yo. And it, this looked like wool. But we'll see. And that's just how we got to do it for the 2024, you know what I'm saying? We raising the prices. I already raised my minimum, and I also raised my, uh, my uh, cost per room. Like, if you add an, an additional room. I went from uh, 55, which is cool, to 65. So we're going to see how it works. Um, and I'm only telling you guys this because everybody got to raise their price y'all and if I'm too cheap let me know and we'll raise accordingly <laughs> but we should all be in around the same the same you know what I'm saying I understand coming in the game and you know you got to be somebody got to be the $80 cleaner but I was I was $80 for like two months and then I raised it up to a hundred and then I raised it up and I just kept raising it and raising it and raising it. so somebody like I said somebody got to be the $80 cleaner but we're our job is to get better to uh, to do better, to get better, to, to be a better individual, better business owner, better, you know, driver, better cleaner, and everything. We're supposed to grow, right? That's what life is about. So don't sit in that lane for too long. That's basically what I want to get at with this video. Like my, my last price, uh, structure I was there for a while because it was it was comfortable 
I know that was a, a area where I can get jobs and people were tripping. Like they were at first. <laughs> but it just, it, it, it worked after that. So we just all got to get to our uncomfortable area. And I'm not I'm not going to give away the bag this year like we You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just can't give away the bag. I got I got, I got, you know, I got goals of, you know, for one, running the business. That's one goal already in itself. And if the price ain't right, we can go out of business. If the price ain't right, off top, people ask, how much do you spend on advertising? I spend $500 a week for advertising plus whatever they charge. Well, it's $300 a, a, a month for the company to run my ads. And then we have insurance. Then we have, you got, you got car insurance. You know, your commercial car insurance, and then you got business insurance. And then you're going to have, um, what else would you have? You're going to have uh, any kind of bills. Uh, let's just say you have a, a car payment. Let's say you have a, a, a payment for your equipment let's say you have uh, optional insurance which would be um, insurance on your on your uh, equipment um, and then you of course you have your products your cleaning products that you have to buy so add that up now, I'm not even telling you like all the numbers but you already see we got two thousand dollars a month that we have to get off top and that's not including paying paying myself which really what we do is bills come first so when I say that I mean like I'm paying my rent I'm paying uh, all the bills that I have to pay first You know what I'm saying? And that's on my personal side and that's on the business side. Bills have to be paid. First. So you guys gotta figure out what you guys gotta figure out what exactly are your bills. And once you figure that out, then you're going to figure out what <laughs> what you got to pay for. Or you know, what you got to charge. And whatever whatever your bills are, you got to make at least, at least three times that, man. At minimum. You're not going to make it every month. And some of y'all... We don't make it every month. I don't make it every month. That's for sure. That's what I want to do. But and I'm I'm not here to front. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to to BS you guys or how they say now like cap. I'm here to be honest with you guys because that's just how it is. I've never told y'all like a lie. Like I I BS with y'all when it comes to my products that I use because to be honest like. You guys can go to the old, old, old videos. You'll see what I'm using. A lot of that stuff has been taken out of rotation just because I simplified my life by, uh, you know, with cleaning and stuff. But 
I just, it didn't make any sense to me to show you guys that, like, for what? Because to be honest, like, you guys sometimes kind of a page, you're like, oh man, that was great, what'd you use? I use what you guys use. Like, <laughs> you can look at me and you can look at my video and see that I'm not rushing any job. I spread the carpet liberally, like, the carpet's fairly wet. You're not going to, and this is why I feel that I've gotten better too, because we were always using pump sprayers. Pump sprayer is not going to give you, you got a two gallon or one gallon pump sprayer, you're going to spray that all over the carpet. Explain that. You got to get it wet in order to uh, loosen up the dirt. So if you're just barely spritzing it, how's that going to even do anything? So it took me some time to figure that out too. So that's why I wet it down. It is what it is. I gotta wet the carpet. I'm sorry. It's not soaking. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's not like a flood or anything, but it's wet. I can go downstairs, come back upstairs. Or I can go outside, you know, whatever. And I can come back and that thing's still wet. Versus if you just spritz it with a, uh, with a pump sprayer, well, what are we doing here? Like, it's going to be dry. So, there we go. So that's, this is some 2024 game for y'all. I'm not going to really give y'all any more, but whoever watches this video is going to be in for a little treat of some some tricks, some tips, and that's just what it is. I just want to, we got to all do better, man, and, you know, I learned a lot at the end of the year because I lost a lot of bread with this, v, with this van here, and I went ahead and bought another van, so, again, risks, we know we take them, uh, <laughs> uh, it's just what it is. Um, so we just got to prepare for those moments I didn't think this I thought this for one when I got the van I'm like man this van will be it could be a dud But the van went f way further than I ever thought it would go. And I didn't, I didn't put any brand aside for it. I mean, I did, but it wasn't for the van. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't for that reason. But I, I, I was putting some bread aside. It's just something we just don't think about. And for me, yeah, it's nice to have, it's very nice, very, very nice to have a brand new vehicle. Oh man, it's nice. You ain't got to worry about nothing. But, in a sense, there's certain, there's certain things that, you know, with a new vehicle, you know, you got any kind of recalls, you got any kind of bugs that they need to, you know, so, but again, it's, it's more reliable, you don't have to worry about it breaking down, you know, or you don't have to worry about any kind of maintenance, large maintenance for a long time, so that's, that's a plus, but for me, I just, I don't want to want to pay that cost. But I, I, I think that just, for me, I'm stuck in that way. And I need to get out of that, that way. So, and then which I'm learning, because, you know, we got the brand new, the brand new Mazda, and it feels good. Like, we, you know, we get in it, we ain't got to worry about nothing. We just, it feels good. You know what I'm saying? You, you feel like a new person. But... Again, that thing was expensive, you know, sixty thousand dollars. Like our monthly is, is high. 
<laughs> so, you know, it's it's those are the things we have to think about. Do I want to pocket money, or do I want to have a monthly payment every month for X amount of years, whatever you put it for? So, I don't know, just a little something for y'all to think about. It's been 15 minutes on this video. We're almost there. We're just a couple uh, blocks away. Uh, it's three three minutes away um, and this really this is the entire commute I'm just talking with you guys so um, just something to think about for you you know you uh, you don't have to be a carpet cleaner or a house cleaner you could be anything you could be a, a painter you could be an auto mechanic anything think about it I saw a window a window tinter uh, ad came up on my uh, on my Instagram yes, yesterday or day before and now I do have a little history with window tinting also like I'm not the best at it I could do it I'm in a still I'm still in a bunch of window tinting groups and I, I have bought you know the rolls of window tint so I I know a little something man but <laughs> it was an ad that came up and it was like $150 for the entire car but what he was saying is it was it was two hundred dollars and the ad uh was fifty dollars off i'm like man yo i swear on everything back in uh two thousand no yeah 2004 i had a honda civic it was like an old old honda civic like it i think it was a 1990 honda civic back in 2004 I paid $150 to have the entire car tinted <laughs> so we gotta stop that crap I like yo you should be at least 150 bucks yo I mean uh, uh, 250 bucks minimum but everybody wants to, it's like the race to the bottom you think if you do you know if I do more and more and more I'll make more money in a sense, but man, you burnt the hell out and you're not really making that much that you think. So, I don't know, man. Yeah, so these are condos. It might be, well, we'll get in there and we'll uh, assess the situation and I'll come back to y'all. It's D West for life, y'all. Alright, y'all, so here's the deal. <laughs> this dude already had this carpet clean. This dude um, I guess he's trying to rent out his apartment or here it's a condo. I guess he's trying to rent it out and he had it clean and then there's still spots remaining and he told the people, hey uh there's still spots and the dude was like, I ain't coming back. <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is what we got going. Now this carpet has already been cleaned. We can see a lot of stains. I don't know about that. That over there looks like it was wet, but I'm not sure. But you get what you pay for. And I told y'all that, so People might hear me out. And then this is the second room, which, I mean, we could look from afar and see a whole bunch of stuff going on in the carpet. Still a lot of stains. Look at all that. So, that's possibly not going to come out. I mean, I'll, I'll see what I can do, but that's what y'all pay for. I'm telling you, go ahead and keep going with the $80 cleaner. Now, there's a difference. There's an $80 cleaner that will stay in that uh, range and will clean with water. We know this. They're not going to hold themselves accountable if anything happens. 
any type of situation where you have to call them back, they're going to say no, and we have proof. Make that make sense to me. All they're doing, and we can see some of those V's in there. So somebody was definitely here. He said that they used a portable unit. It's wild, y'all. I'm telling you. But on a on a flip side, this you know, my friend is the one that referred. She said she had to have the guy have the uh, the walls painted and everything because um, they were pretty bad. I'm assuming she didn't tell me why, but if we look here, we could possibly tell that they were very bad. But I don't know. But let's make it happen. It's D West for life, y'all. So this is 50 feet. And then we gotta go down. <laughs> so I brought one. I just wanted to see exactly where we were. My idea is just to come right through, go straight down. Well, unfortunately, actually. Yeah, I might be able to go put it through there. That way we can eliminate some uh, some uh, some feet. This is on wide, so if it looks a little darker, it looks funny. That's why. But and then we're just right here. So I think I think I have enough. Um, we're gonna have a lot of problems with people coming in and out. This seems like a very busy garage and maybe what I'll do eh, never mind it's all good I'm gonna say I'll have him come down here but he all good but what I will what I will do and this is something that you guys should probably do get you some flashers I was looking for some red ones, but they don't make them. <laughs> and kind of just throw them bad boys like that. I do, if I can, I do want to uh, turn my van around just because my exhaust would be going this way. And I'm not sure. It should be fine, but because I'll close this door, but I don't want any exhaust to go upstairs, which it's not a big deal, but because it's not like a. Uh, a home up there I don't know what I, how to set how to explain it but it's not um, just like into the house is what I'm trying to say so yeah put these over here that way people say they oh man this dude still got my god dang hood open that's what that noise was so when we were driving when we were driving on the freeway I heard Floop, and I was like, but it was like a little thud, but it sounded like, Poop. and I was like, what the hell was that? I'm telling you, that shot, man, they just be all over the place, man. They don't be thinking sometimes, which sucks, but it is what it is, man. We, we good so far, all right? Let's think positive for 2024. Let's make it happen. It's D West for life, y'all. All right, so I did bring up the light just to see if I notice anything. The only thing, remember a while back we had a video with uh, the turmeric that was dropped and it lit up like, like this? That could be what that is. Could be what that is. Let's check up in here. Usually you don't see this kind of carpet, yo, and, and, <laughs> and it's, oh, look at this. It 
Somebody tried to clean this. Oh, it's all over. All where those spots are. Can you, can you see what I'm talking about? You can see the outline if I'm over here. It kind of gets washed out right here, but it's a big old outline. You see it? So they, I, I think they tried to clean it even over here. So, yeah, I don't know. It's D West for life, y'all. So I'm gonna spray something on here just for now, see what kind of reaction we get, if it lightens up or, or what. These spray bottles, the, the, they're so cheap, man, that they, they always leak. <laughs> uh. Now, he did say he vacuumed already. We know what that is like, but I didn't vacuum on this one. I'm one of the only cleaners out there that's going to keep it real transparent with y'all. Except for my cleaning products. Whenever I get a sponsorship, I'll let you know. And it's only going to be with the ones I, I actually work with. <laughs> but I don't have enough followers for that. come back to those spots usually like if you ever see me going over a spot and it don't come out and I just keep going I'm coming back to it This D West for life, y'all. All right, so what we'll do is we'll test a little area, see what it does. This is in real time. I give it about 15 or so seconds. Maybe like 10. You can still see it, but maybe we can lighten it up a little bit. It doesn't look as bright on that side, but as long as we lighten it up and make it look a lot better, that's all that we got to worry about. Improvements are always what is meant the, uh, the most to customers. If we can improve whatever situation they have, then we're, we're good. Now you come in and you don't, and the carpet looks exactly the same. So you're going to have a problem with the customer, especially when they call you back and you say, no, I ain't coming. <laughs> Looks a little lighter. We'll just keep this up uh, and then that'll be it for this. Maybe a couple little touch-ups, but I really want to get this 
out here and then I want to get that out. You can kind of see this area there is still a little bit of, has like a brown hue to it. And then I did from here up, it looks a lot better. But it's still a little brown, but it looks a lot better. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. Huh? This is not cotton. This is synthetic. The carpet, me? Yeah. Yeah, it's synthetic. And I think cotton must be more expensive, right? The wool? Uh -huh. Yeah, wool is expensive. That's why the price is different. You can't use the same products on wool that you would use on wool. Yeah, you know yeah, so this is a year and a half old, huh? By the way, Genesia said, PVC you all Yeah, next week. I, I clean our carpet a couple times a year. <laughs> so how much time is it going to take to dry next Monday? Yeah, if you, so usually dry times are anywhere between like uh, like four to eight hours, but I always tell people to give it at least 24 hours if you yeah, can. Maybe. Still there, man.
Oh, how expensive is the machine? Uh, the machine I have is twenty three thousand, and then my van is. I got it fairly cheap, but let's just say it's about uh, fifteen to seventeen thousand. Yeah. All right, y'all, so you said this wasn't good enough. You could still see the stain. I don't know. So what we'll do is we'll go over it again. Like I told him, I said, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be brand new carpet, yo. And I may have a feeling that this carpet was very bad. All right, y'all. So I already turned everything off. Uh... Just coming back down. Then I can put this stuff away. And uh, it's just crazy, man. Like, uh, he was like, man, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating the way I'm saying it, but he's like, I still see stains. <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be perfect, sir. I like, I, we could remove dirt, that's for sure. But I, I can't make a miracle happen. I don't know what's going on with the carpet. It almost looks like it was very bad and and the dude did it to where he got it. But I feel that I did do a, a better job. I feel that it looks presentable if you, you know, cause they're, he's trying to rent it. I said that he was buying it, but he's, he's renting it out. So <clears throat> my uh, friend, um, Janessa, she's like, call Daryl, he'll do it. Called, you know, unfortunately, she gave my personal number, which I, I hate, but whatever. I got a reminder. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing, too, is when he called, he called first, he asked about the price, and I gave him the price, right? And then he texted and was like, How much to clean? This was like a couple of days later, maybe, or, or, and when, it, when the text came, when the text came to my personal line, I'm like, who the hell is this? So I was like, how'd you get my number? Like, <laughs> and then he just said a friend. Like, what the hell? So he's asking, I gave the same price, but what I said was, thanks for the picture, because he just sent the picture. I said, thanks for the picture, you know, it's possibly could be war, I don't know. It, Usually you won't see a carpet like that sometimes. Like, I haven't seen one like that. Usually if you do, like, some type of design like that, it's usually a wool. So, um, <clears throat> I told him 200 to 300, and this fool was like, um, 
This fool was like, uh, wow. Uh, the, the going price right now is 170 Can you do it for 170 I'm like, I ain't doing it for 170 For one, I already told you the other day. And that's when I figured out who he was. Um, and then come to find out that he already had the place cleaned. So it's just, I don't know, man. It's stupid. Like, you already had the place cleaned for stupid cheap, and you're still trying to get stupid cheap uh, work done. Make that make sense to me. Somebody. And then, like, in there, he's like, there's still, I can still see the stain. Like, I <laughs> said, so I'm not going to, for one, there's no guarantee on, on stains. That's just it. And I kind of already told you that. And two, it looked, it's a huge improvement. I mean, I had the light on there for a long time. Like, it wasn't really budging. It, it, it lightened up a lot, but it was still there. So. That's all I could do. I mean, I did what I could do. I did what I was trained to do. So, and then I just told him, like, I'll take, he said, sorry, I don't mean to make that personal. I said, I take all that stuff personal, yo. I take it all personal. I'm passionate about what I do. It's my business. And when someone puts you down, uh, puts your business down, puts your work down, something you're passionate about, you know, your instinct is to, is to go back at them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do, and I stand behind my work. There is a big difference. I'm not I'm not walk, going in there uh, taking my time, or in and out, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking my time. So, he said it was an apartment. He said he was right next to the stairs. You know, we made it work with the, because uh, I told him, I said, I don't have my portable, like, <laughs> So, I don't know, I, I'm very passionate, y'all. If you ain't passionate about what you do, I mean, D. West is me, it's not It's not somebody else. It's It's not somebody else's uh, company, it's me. So, that's just what I'm saying. I gotta call back two, uh, two customers right now after I'm done, I just need to put this away very fast, and I can call them back. Um, I had, um, I had a call this morning and she said she was busy because she left the inquiries for three area rugs and she called back and I was like, man, I'm on this job right now. And then um, she had, uh, I had another inquiry for a, a therapist office, another one, and they have uh, two bathrooms and I believe she said uh, a washroom, probably like a, I don't know, she said like something else. But it's all tile and grout, so we'll be doing that one on Monday. She already approved for it. I told her the price, and we're about to get it because it's D-West for life. Peace.